Emma. How are you? Yes, yes, camera, I know. <coughs> Just let me know if my sound is okay. I need another eraser. How have you been? Oh, good. Oh, okay, eraser. How about you behave? Ah. Aviation guy, that's creepy. Like, legit, that is creepy. So, I made this color wheel yesterday using a tool that I don't have with me tonight. So I've got to figure out a way to make that happen. Because I tried just... <laughs> Eyeballing it? No, that doesn't work. You can't die. I can't eyeball it. <coughs> so let's try something else. I know I want one there. I know I need one on the very edge right here. Mm -hmm. So what are you up to tonight, Emma? Anything fun and exciting? And now the quarter's on the floor. Oh, no it's not. Caught it. Yay. Alright. So one inch from the top. Approximately. And then... Halfway through the page. Two and a half inches. Mmm. Oh, please. Burp. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello, all my lurkers. Thank you for being here. Hey, ouch. Mm. Ah! Alright, is that kind of in line up? Yeah. <coughs> Pardon me. So what I'm doing is I'm making a second color wheel. The first color wheel I made with red, blue, and yellow. Like true red, true re blue, true yellow. Um, and I don't like the way some of the colors turned out because they look like garbage. So I want to try experimenting and doing um, one with cyan, yellow, and magenta and see if I can get any better results with that. Okay, this is six inches. Wait, let's do it this way. Alright, we're gonna try not to screw this up. 
No promises. Ding dong. I was thinking I had to get three circles in here. I don't. I have to get two. So that's this one. That's this one. So I only have to get two in between. Oh dear. Well, don't I feel silly? I was wondering why it was not giving me any wiggle room. Eyeball. <laughs> no, don't you move. Rrr. Some people use quarters for to buy things. I use them as tracing things. <laughs> I need to figure out which paint I have that is closest to cyan. I'm thinking maybe thalo blue green shade, but I don't know how. I gotta find out. <laughs> Pardon me. <coughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> huh. I wonder why this isn't working. some reason <coughs> maybe that'll work okay <coughs> my very fancy dancy why can't you connect hmm hmm Hold on, I gotta try something. Now that I've got my circles figured out, oh crap, I don't know what I just clicked on. Sorry, guys. Let's see if I can find that. Come on, OBS. There we go. Um, display capture. Um. 
down. Hmm. Uh, can you still hear me? Okay, my microphone says you can hear me. Um, okay. My headset decided that it doesn't want to pair with my phone anymore. Because it's being a poop. <gasps> ah! Scary! Hey, Moko, how are you? Thank you, uh, aviation guy. Alright, so here's what we're trying to figure out. I need to figure out what paint is the true yellow, cyan, magenta mix. So, let's see if we can figure this out. Uh mm. Mm. <coughs> Try this. Okay. So So this is cyan, right? <laughs> that looks like cobalt teal to me. Bless me. Mm. Alright, so let's see. Mm -mm. Go back. How are you doing, Moko? What's new? Hmm. Clothes? Hmm. Hmm, not quite. Surviving. Um, doing alright. Thanks. School's kicking my butt. But that's not unusual. Mm. Alright, let's try something. Got a GoPro, I'm learning and figuring out still. That's fun. No <laughs> colors. Hi, Blue Moon! Yes, colors. Daniel Smith CMYK. I don't know if that's going to help, but... <coughs> oh, 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 oh. Let's see what this is. Mm. <coughs> the ultimate watercolor mixing selection for beginners. I'm big in that. So... <coughs> bloop, 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 bloop. Aha! Where, where, where'd it go? Um... <coughs> There's a cool triad of Hansa Yellow Medium. Ah, yeah. Okay, we're g mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I need to make some of these wheels for visual reference. I'm bad at eyeballing it. Yeah. Forgot this is a thing. <coughs> With making color wheels. Yeah. How are you today? I'm doing all right. Thank you. It's been a interesting couple of weeks, but... Uh... Okay, this is getting too much into the weeds. Da -da -da. Uh. Mm. 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 I hope you get some rest of peace. What? It's all good. School is pain in my ass. And that's just how it's gonna be. <laughs> Part of the cover is just... Uh, uh, hmm. Mm. Hold on, let me do something here. See if I can get it all on there. Yeah, <laughs> you can't see any of that. I'm sorry. <coughs> what have you been up to, Blue Moon? <coughs> I apologize for clearing my throat so much, but allergies are a thing. <clears throat> uh, I want... <coughs> Let's see if they'll give me a true CMYK. Ah, CMY triad. Alright, I'm just laying down, not feeling my best, but trying to recover. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope you feel better. What's the difference between the bright mid or the cool mid? Or cool. Mm. All right, I'm gonna go off of printer. Your printer uses cyan, magenta, and yellow to print a huge range of colors. Orange is created with this triad will be neutralized and the greens very bright. Keep in mind that your printer also uses black. The change here is magenta and yellow will mix to produce a red. Crimson is used as the primary red. It is mixed with blue to create a magenta. Uh, different brands of quinacrylone magenta use different pigments. I might have these colors though. Ooh, maybe not. Uh, Alright, let's. <coughs> Alright, Hansa Yellow Medium, which I believe is this friend. Yep. Hansa Yellow Medium. Quinn Magenta. Hey, I got that. So, yellow, quin magenta, phthalo blue. Where's my hand wet? Mm. Phthalo blue green shade. Mm-hmm. <coughs> <coughs> Where are you? Boom. There we go. <coughs> okay, so we'll turn that off. So, we've got... These are supposedly the C... Y... M... Of printers. Apparently it's these three. So we'll see. I finished up this one earlier. 
Um. <laughs> Oops. Oh, wait, I have to check something. All right, sorry. Hold on. One second. Okay. There we go. <coughs> okay. This one and yeah, there should be three in between each one. All right. Not really sure what I'm hoping to learn from this, but a bunch of the like color theory classes that I've looked at, <coughs> I'll start with understanding which colors mixed together make a better um, <coughs> color wheel. What's that? Go away. Green shade. Okay, let me change my water out, because this water nasty. You. This sounds like... This sounds like Christmas music. <coughs> Sorry. Mmm, close. helpful to be able to mix the color you want and understand how to get there, I guess? Yeah. <laughs> yes. What did I just do? Yep. There we go. Ugh. Alright, so I'm gonna do the yellow first, because well, you know. Yellow's the lightest. <coughs> Man. Hold on. I said I was trying to not. I like the way you think. <coughs> Alright. <coughs> Strong, handsy yellow. Boop. Good job. Swish, 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 swish. Okay. <coughs> Queen Magenta is next. Looks a little yellow though. Oops, oh well. It doesn't have to be perfect. <coughs> Supposedly, when mixing these together, you'll get a red and a true blue. I don't know if it'll happen, but. Supposedly, this is how it works in a printer. So. We're going to give it a whirl. Doom, 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 doom. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, this one's going to be the phthalo blue. I also have worked on <coughs> one of my scientific entry thingies for um, Garnet. Ooh, I like this blue. 
so I've got to finish that up tonight. At least I hope I can. I've made headway on it. I just need to... I want to do some details. And I want to show you all because I haven't shown you yet. I had to take Monday night off because I had a migraine. I'm gonna mix it in my side plate here. Actually, no, I don't have to mix this part. Just like a mix on the paper. Because it's just equal. Equal parts yellow and blue. Uh, no, I have allergies that, um,. Are causing the back of my throat to itch, <laughs> basically. So I'm okay, but thank you for asking. B, how are you? How's it going? Oops, well, that was one way to mess that up. Whoopsies. Oh, well. No, no, I colored outside the lines. For shame. That's a really pretty green. Like that, that, yeah. <laughs> Getting, going better with having trouble with live streaming, skipping frames and all. Ooh, that's not good. What was happening, do you know? Or was it kind of like one of those, like, mm, internet decided to be dumb? Apparently it was the background running apps. Ooh, Yuck. <coughs> so I got this email from from work. I actually got, there are three emails. So I've been working on getting this. Ugh. Sorry. Um, oh, I forgot to put water down. Shit. Oh well. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I promise. Reinstalled everything, even the camera. Ooh. Ooh. That sounds uncomfortable. <laughs> All the animation mini games I had running. Yeah. Stream test shows is good. Excellent. I'm glad it's at least seemingly getting better. So I got these emails at work today. Um, one, there were three of them all together and they came within five minutes of each other. And the first one said that I had used up, it was a warning saying I had used up 85% of my available storage. I was like, that's funny because I haven't done anything today that would, re would be saving into my available storage. Then five minutes later I get one that says I've used up 95% of my available storage and that they were going to if I used all of it, then they weren't going to let me save anything anymore. Like, well, that's interesting. I haven't done anything to save to it. No, it was, it was legit emails from our, our, um, IT peeps. Um, that's actually a darn close red. I like that. Um... So I started going through and deleting some things, thinking maybe that was what was, you know, maybe there were, I was just, I don't know, too close or whatever. However, five minutes later I get another one saying 100% of my available storage is gone. Like I have deleted files, I have not been adding files, what the heck's going on? So I called my IT department like freaking out, like, um... <laughs> Can you tell me what the hell's going on? I just named that shade. I just put my eraser. There it is. Um, ask my IT department, like, what, what, what's going on? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> what the hell's going on? And um, they're like, well, it's probably something that you've downloaded. And I'm like, I've downloaded nothing. 
I was walking my students back to class. I wasn't even in here for it to upload or to increase like this. And it's like seven gigabytes. Like I need, <laughs> I need to know what the heck's going on. I was on the phone with him for an hour and a half trying to figure out what had happened. Um, we still don't really know. <laughs> Alright, I'll stretch after I do this circle. So we still really don't know what happened. Yeah, there's no, there's no answer. We don't really know what happened. We backed up everything onto the hard drive from the server. Backed up everything to the hard drive to the server. Yeah. <laughs> You'd think that. Nope. Well, and fortunately I was asked, like, as I'm talking to the tech person, like, he s very early stopped talking to me like I was a complete moron. And was like, oh, you know what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> and for once I was like, yeah, I guess I do know what I'm talking about this time. Yay! Now that, that is the purple that I could be happy with. See if I can... Hmm. Well, let's do it this way. Is your pro stream? Yeah, that's it. Okay, hold on. Um, also I'm kind of blown away that to get red is magenta and yellow, right? Okay, this didn't get any red in it for some reason. Boop, 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 boop. Let's try this again. Um, do it! gonna blot it. That is a really nice purple. Moko's your your guy if you need help. Everybody finger paints with their paints, right? Alright, I'm going to let this completely dry before I even attempt to do the ones in the center. Like, the ones in between. Because I don't want it to accidentally run together. Where's that brush? Boom, 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 boom. Can I brush? No. Oh. <coughs> mm. 
Now this isn't a... I mean, it's not true red. It's like a brick red. Yeah, I'd say it's more like a brick red, but the fact that it made a red is, like, insane. What bitrate do you use? I have no idea. Whatever Moko told me to use. Where do I find out? Um. KB slash S. Two eight eight six. Does that make sense? Oh gosh, yeah, you all are speaking Greek. I'll just be over here. I paint. I I paint the pretty colors. I paint the pretty colors. So you all can talk amongst yourselves. Yeah, stop. They're just they like primary color. Primary colors are magenta, yellow, and cyan, and red and yellow is orange, and red and blue is purple. Never had anything say how to do red and blue out of the primary color. <coughs> technically, you're not... Okay, technically, you have to have red, blue, and yellow to mix any other color. At least that's the theory. <laughs> but printing has shown us otherwise, that... We get truer, brighter, bolder colors using cyan, magenta, and yellow. Instead of yellow, blue, red. I remember Ion telling me the same thing like two years ago. What's that? Oh, I'm staying out of that. I don't understand, so. Yeah. Here's my beverage. Alright. Are you guys ready to see some garnets? <sighs> purple seems to be brighter on the left side. This purple? Look for the restoration versus. The purple seems to be brighter. This one seems to be brighter than this one. Uh, yeah, it absolutely is brighter. It's. I mean, personally, I think this is prettier than this one. I don't know if the light's doing it any justice, to be honest. But this is almost a, like a dark brick, not really a red. I mean, not really a purple. Whereas this one, get up here, that's a purple. Or at least more clear and less mud. Yes, yes. All right, so this needs to sit aside and dry so that we can mm, do the next part without muddying the colors. Ooh. So here's what I've been working on <clears throat> off stream. I don't know if you guys have seen... Actually, I don't think Moko's seen any of this stuff. So, I will show you guys what I've been doing. We've got... <coughs> I mean, some of this you've seen. These are my poppies. <clears throat> These are <clears throat> my bismuth entry. Noise. <laughs> Thanks. Um, it's the periodic element bismuth. It's atomic number eighty-three, and it's in a lot of cosmetics, and it's in bismuth vanadate yellow. Dig the shading on the leaf. Oh, thank you. Yes, this leaf is the Swiss Shard. I'm a big fan of this. I don't know if I've ever actually eaten Swiss Shard. Whatever, it's pretty. Uh, then we have my Sunflower Entry. 
So it's different bits and pieces of a sunflower. The legend of the sunflower. The uh, scientific name. And my sunflower painting with a sunflower quote. It says, keep your, keep your face to the sunshine and you cannot see the shadows. It's what the sunflowers do from Helen Keller. I thought that was pretty. And then we have my squid. Squiddy. 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 So. There's Squiddy. Really? I don't know what to do about the light here, huh? The Latin name. <laughs> Thanks. Latin name. She's the common squid. Or the European squid. Different parts of him. The mantle. The side fin. Which is also no, called as a rhomboid fin. Rhomboid? Rhomboid fin. <laughs> Thanks. His coloring. His eyes, arms, tentacles. The description. The phylum and the class. So that's... There's Squiddy. And then... I don't know what's happening here. Random flowers. That's pretty much it. But then we have my poinsettia entry. With def the actual definition. What it was named after. Thanks. This is my ink sketch of the different parts. This was hard. <laughs> this was really hard. Um, but I'm glad it turned out. I, I'm happy with the way it turned out. Um, fun fact, poinsettias keep their color so long because the red tissues are modified leaves, not flowers. So. No, I'm not ready for this song. What is, why does this song keep coming up? I'm sorry. Oh, wait. I think I like that one. Let's play this one. That one. Uh, need a drink? Go for it. You did really good at Love Drunk. Thank you. <laughs> Go ahead. Get your water. Um, there's the painting I did last year of poinsettias. I love what the greens did. That's so pretty. That's undersea green. Then, um, uh, blank for now. <laughs> um, random roses. So I'm going to figure something out for this page. This is what started it all. The star apple. With the scientific name. The painting of an open one. This is what the tree kind of looks like. Um, this I did in colored pencil, along with the parts here and the leaves, where it comes from, what it tastes like. Uh, this is indigo. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, the definition, the history. Uh, it's high value as a trading commodity, was often referred to as blue gold. This is an example of shibori, which is like basically type of Japanese tie dye, done with indigo. Um, in 1873, Jacob W. W. Jacob W. Davis and Levi Strauss <coughs> fattened a pair of work trousers that would go on to conquer the world, and they dyed it with indigo. This is the plant the indigo is from. It's the Indigofera tinctoria. And indigo is... The natural indigo is made from the... The, um... <coughs> the leaves... Wait, wait, wait. What's it from? The leaves of the plant, not necessarily the flowers. And this is how to make natural indigo. Then we have the one that I am working on right now. Hold on. Let me double check some. Yeah. Ta-da! We're working on this garnet. This is not finished painting. Um, so in progress. The title, the chemical formula, what it's named after, 
Um, they are made. They were a rhombic dodecahedron. So, um, the most common crystal shape is this. And then the garnet is actually named for granatum, which is a pomegranate because it resembles the seeds of a pomegranate. So I'm in the middle of trying to paint a pomegranate. Um, and then we got some history of garnet here. Um, yeah. So I'm pretty stoked about this one. I started it four days ago and I think I'm almost done I want to I need to finish this I'm not quite ready to work on this tonight I don't think and I need to finish my pomegranate but I think I want to add some of that fine tech paint around the edges to give it a little bit of sparkle because I know I have garnet fine tech paint or fine tech paint in the color garnet or something like that. Uh, oh, maybe not. I've got Ruby. Although, a Garnet, they are actually in almost, almost every color <coughs> can be seen in Garnet. Natural Garnet. Except I don't think they have blue. That tangelo might look really cool. Yep. That's one. Two, four, three, six. <coughs> two, four, three, six. Two, four, three, six. <coughs> Welcome back! Two, four... Nope, that's fine. Oh, thanks! Germ! Alright, come on now misbehaving. Bingo. Oh, I think that'll complement it nicely. <coughs> mm. Yeah, we're just gonna add a little... a little sparkle. To the accents. <coughs> the name of this one. The name of this paint. Ow. This. The name of this particular fine tech is Tangelo. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna love this. He's pretty. He <laughs> and see, hold on. Are you gonna? There it is. I think it's gonna look really pretty. Ah. I don't want to use it everywhere. I just want to kind of use it as an accent in several places. <coughs> Monkey! Hello! Before we were married, my wife used to clean up my place, and I used to clean hers. Eventually we realized that we were made for each other. Monkey, have I ever told you how special you are? <laughs> Just wondering. What were you 
playing Outriders. Hold, please. Oh, I've cleared my cache of cookies. But I don't see how eating 300 Oreos is going to make my computer work better. You, did, you sh did you bring enough for the whole class? Well, well. I mean... We would have had enough for the whole class, but you ate them all. <laughs> He's totally not eating cookies right now. I ain't judging. If I had a cookie in front of me right now, I'd probably eat it. But I don't. They're downstairs. And I want to paint. Instead of eating cookies. Because it's so sparkly. <laughs> hmm. Now I gotta decide what to do. I wanna outline it? Uh, let's see here. <coughs> Maybe. Here, I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see a little better. Oopsies. Sorry. Hold on to your, hold on to your lunch. <coughs> Can you see okay now? <laughs> Hold on, your cookie. When asked why I had a cache of 300 Oreos, I told them because Girl Scout cookies are expensive and don't keep as well. It's true. Why did I just put my hand in that? Aw, guys, you're supposed to tell me not to do that. <coughs> I smooched it. Oh well. This is not for anybody else, it's just for me, so. He shall good. <laughs> All right, I have to decide if I like that. You know what I mean? Like, mm, maybe it's too early to tell. <coughs> the doc gave me some pills to help my kidneys lower my blood pressure. After two weeks of pissing like a racehorse, I'm eight and a half. I'm eight-ish pounds lighter. So after doing the math, means I lost like almost a gallon of water weight. Not a joke. Wait, wait. I'm so confused. Holy cow. Holy cow. That's crazy. <coughs> Congrats. Is that the appropriate response? <coughs> Good. I don't know what those numbers mean, but I think that they're good. Congratulations.
Holy crow! Ha ha ha! That's funny. I like that one. <laughs> the first set is really bad. The second is much better, but still not good. Congratulations, though, for making it as such a big improvement. How? Can anyone tell me how your how kidneys can lower your blood pressure? I don't understand. Kidneys flush things out, right? So is it like getting rid of sodium? I don't even know. I'm not a doctor. <clears throat> also on the um, medical front, I guess you could say, I talked to my therapist today and we were able to rule out ADHD. I do not have ADHD. I wasn't sure. I thought, I was like, maybe, because a lot of the symptoms are similar to what, are what I experience on a daily basis. And I was like, oh, well, maybe, maybe that's what I'm, uh, maybe that's what it is. No. Not ADHD. It's anxiety. <laughs> they m m mirror each other in symptoms. Kidneys are what remove water from your system, and if they don't, you keep drinking and the pressure builds. Oh, oh, oh. That's not good. So you need your kidneys to behave to do the thing. Right? <coughs> Yee. Okay. Yeah. So... <clears throat> I guess one of the things that both anxiety and ADHD have in common is that, um, like being forgetful or, <clears throat> not being forgetful, ADHD is because, um, of the squirrel brain, but with anxiety is because you're thinking about so many other things at the same time that you're afraid you're going to forget one of them so you have to keep repeating it in your head. Um, otherwise being full of piss and vinegar is not healthy. Nice. Uh, interesting info I need to share with a loved one to speak to their doc about it. Um, I, again, I am not a doctor. I have had... I have been dealing with, battling with, I don't know how you want to say it. I've had generalized anxiety disorder for several years now. Um, I'm pretty sure it started hmm, I'd say it started in high school. Um, but it was definitely prevalent in uh, college. But I was not diagnosed until 10 years ago. When I st they put me on um, some medication to get my brain to chill the out. Because my brain was constantly in fight or flight. All the time. And that takes a toll on everything. <coughs> Blurp. Hi, country. So, B, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. I'm 
pretty open about it, but <clears throat> if you want to talk to me privately, you know how to find me. You're welcome. Reminds me of the Ramo song. Na 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 na. I wanna be sedated. Wanna be sedated. I wouldn't say I'm sedated. I would say that those chemicals in my brain, though, are a lot more calm on the medication than not. Off the medication, I'm ready to run away or fight someone. Or at least my heart feels like it is. And that's never good when your heart feels like that. Look at this. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh, look at that! <laughs> it's like it glows. And I think I want to go around the outside. Thanks. I'm thinking, yeah, this. Like the outside edge. Yeah. Who is Garnet? Garnet is the name used for a large group of rock forming minerals that share a common crystal structure and a generalized chemical composition of X3. Y2, SiO4 to the third, where X can be calcium, magnesium, iron, or mineral. I beg to differ. If you have to run away, having your heart feel like you're ready to run is a good thing. But I, I, I'm not. I don't need to run away. <laughs> That's. How you doing, can Candy? Where the heck did that come from? Oh. Hi, Turkey. How are you? You said it's never a good thing. Oh. Well, okay. Never mind. I forgot what I was saying already. Come on. That's streamer brain. Oh, I'm sorry, Lurk. I didn't even... Lurk. Oh my gosh. Try again. Boop. I'm sorry, Trip. I didn't even see you. Enjoy your Lurk. <laughs> Words. Words and such. And why can't I see that? There we go. Now I can see that. Words and things and stuff. Dudes, I have... The struggle is real. I had a... <clears throat> one heck of a fun observation the other day. I inadvertently wrote a swear word on the board and... Uh, One of my kids caught it. I don't think my evaluator caught it, but, you know. Sounds like a great idea to me. To get evaluated to, for your job and you write swear words on the board. Good idea. Caught you swearing at kids? But, um, kind of. So, I was writing the rules of painting on the board, and I wrote no smooshing, like don't smoosh the brush. And the next rule was no flicking, like flicking paint. I had written it in all capital letters, and the letter L 
and the letter I were too close together, so it looked like the letter U, like a squared off letter U. So it said, no smooshing, no fucking. And then underneath that, it said, dip, wipe, swish, swipe. So you know. Little just probably deserved it well. Uh, to be fair, I still go over the classroom. Yeah, this is true. I don't know that I should really be saying that to first graders, but you know. Um. And I even pointed to the board during my observation and I was like, you know, referencing it. Um, I didn't catch it. And no one caught it until the next class when a second grader, who's always in trouble. Always. Because that's me. He's like, hey, 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 there, there's a bad word on your board. I'm like, how, what do you mean there's a bad word on my board? Who would write a bad word on my board? Show me. He takes me up to the board and he points at it and I'm like, oh god, I did that. Maybe that was a rule for the observer. <laughs> Nah. My principal just had a second kid. She doesn't follow that rule. <clears throat> yeah. So he pointed it out to me. Of course he would know how to spell it. No. Can't read, except he can read all the swear words. And this is that, that one kid who's always, always, always in trouble. Always. Somebody wrote that on your board. Oh my gosh, shoot. Oh, I did that. Well, crap. Then I had to tell the little guy, like, thank you for pointing it out so that I... Don't get in trouble. Principal hasn't said anything to me, so I'm hoping that she just didn't notice. But... Who knows? We'll find out. It'll be, it'll be great. I am loving this tangelo color with these stones. Or, you know what I mean. Like, look at that. Ooh, ooh, ah. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> <coughs> hmm. I think I just want to do this one. Because if that's where the light is coming from, it would only be on this side. And maybe it would show up over here. Like if it's shown through. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Ooh, pretty! Alright, let's do this side. I'm gonna zoom out a bit. Hold on to your butts. <coughs> I think the color wheel's almost dry. So we can do the next set of spots on it.
Should I do my name? I'm gonna do my name in this too. Let's see if I mess this up. You might not be able to see this on camera very well yet. You ready? Don't put your finger in it, doofus. Oh my god. Can you even see it? Ooh, there you go. How about them apples? I like it. Um, we're gonna let it dry. Dry, 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 dry. Dry. Up there. Mm. Don't you dare close. My well, purple's almost dry, but at least the outer limits are. God damn it, remember. <sighs> the outer edges are dry enough that we can mix. The tertiary colors. Mm. Uh, this, this one, this one, this one. Mm -mm -mm. 
got to dump the old paint. Ew, it smells. Probably use potion. Not really, but man, does it stink. <laughs> Water. I have a random question. Has anyone seen Tina around? I haven't seen her around much at all, and I wasn't sure if she was doing okay, or... Something was up. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, she did? Oh. Right. Yeah, Tina. Hmm. I haven't seen her- I haven't seen her in here, and... It's been a long time. Okay, I'm... Mm. I can't assume that that is the color I want. I'm gonna mix it. Mix a new one. I hope I didn't do something to make her mad. It's never wise to make Tina mad. Boop. This one's gonna be. Let's see here. Yellow. What? Haven't seen her in eating streams, and she was recovering from being sick. Oh, okay. I'm good. I hope she feels better. Oh. All right. Um. I gotta think. Okay, so this one's more yellow than blue. Yeah. All right. Lots of yellow. Switch, 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 switch. pretty. That is a vibrant Kelly green. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Now, this one. Uh, this one has to be more blue than yellow. <clears throat> uh, okay. A lot of blue. A lot of blue, a lot of blue. A lot of blue, a lot of blue. Blue, blue, blue. Blue, 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 blue. And I'm going to take some of this color and just mix it in there. And that's the blue green. Sorry, you guys can't really see it. <coughs> Look at how pretty that is. Ooh. It's like this is the box of eight crayons. And then this is like getting the the deluxe set. That's... Oh. Wait, I can't can't right now. That's just... Can you guys tell how pretty that is? I don't feel like my light is doing it any justice at all. <sighs> Let's see here. I do want to do something. I feel like this green is awfully thick. Like, you can't really see the true color. <laughs> At least not as well as I want. There we go. Let's try that. Now. <sighs> so this one's going to be... Blue and red. Ooh. But more blue. Right? Okay. <laughs> or magenta, I shouldn't say red, it's magenta. <laughs> Blue. <coughs> this is almost ultramarine. No, it's almost Prussian. Alright, so this one is going to be more magenta than blue. Okay. 
puppies. Sorry, trying to figure out where I'm going to mix things. Drag some of this in. Whoa. Okay, this is bold and vibrant. My favorite color purple. Right here. Okay, it's, it's official. I, I like this color wheel better than the other one. That's all there is to it. Mm. Kind of realizing that maybe these don't look appropriate, but whatever. It's fine. Hey, Sunshine, how are you? Clean palette. Need a clean palette. Hmm. I'm falling asleep, but wanted to stop in and say hi and probably learn. Oh, thank you. Have a good sleep. Ew, what is it? What? How do I have a. Someone tell me how I have a cat hair in my palette when I don't own a cat. Hmm. Hmm. Sugar. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Like, how does that happen? I don't know. That's not true. I actually do know. When your boyfriend has a cat, and she's very furry cat, you end up with cat fur on everything. Even if you don't want it to be on everything. Especially when the cat is a floof. A very, very floofy floof. There's nothing that can be done but except the floofness. Oops. Just made a mess. Mm -hmm. I know you're loving the sound effects. Cozy bird. Oh, it's sleepy birdie. Hey, is that one of your? New That's got to be one of your new emotes. I want to commission you for more emotes, but I can't right now. I can't afford it, cause you know Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> it's adorable. Uh, but I will not be able to commission anything for anyone for a while. Because... Christmas! Yeah. Oh, thank you for the host, Sunshine. I appreciate that. 
I don't know why my host noise didn't go off, but, um, thanks. When you start listening to your epidemic sound playlist so much that you know the words to all the songs. going to be yellow and magenta. Actually, I'm going to do this one first. Yellow, magenta, heavy on the yellow. Right? Yeah. Heavy on the yellow, so a smidge of magenta. Swish, 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 swish. Swish, 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 swish. Clean yourself, brush. Brush! Behave. Okay, so a touch of Quinn magenta. That should, that, 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 that should be it. Right back there. <clears throat> I want to avoid making it as dark as that guy. I put too much magenta in it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is so I'm just gonna add yellow to here. I guess I really didn't have to wash that off, whatever. There we go. It's kind of a yellow ochre. I think. <laughs> this song always reminds me of, like, Tetris. Mm -hmm. Finish up this last guy and then we're gonna raid off into the sunset so I can get some sleep. Because I still have to work tomorrow.
Mm. All right, now I'm gonna uh, mostly quinacridone. Add a little bit. I'm now covered in paint. Shock. Ah, stop getting paint on me. Stop it. Okay, so quite a bit of magenta. This, look at this, look at this, look at this. It's like a cool red. Like this almost reminds me of Garnet. Look at that. That's nuts. kind of blowing my mind right now because my my art teacher brain is going no 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 you can't make red you can't make red you have to have red um but I just made red so if you're not allowed if you can't make red by mixing colors together how did I just make red hmm and I made it using yellow. What? It's freaking cool, man. How dare you turn it red? Right? Um, okay, so if I only got to choose three colors to paint with for the rest of my days, for sure it would be Quinn Magenta, Hansi Yellow Medium, and Thalo Blue, green shade. Because it's almost like this is the old school one, and this is like the new updated version. This is the hipper, younger colors. I know it was a bit confusing to me too. Yeah, I, like I'm the art teacher in me is very confused right now. Like, have I been teaching my students a lie? It's all been a lie. I'm just trying to get a little bit more variety in here. I. Guys, what the... What the hell? There is not a single color on this side that I don't like. I mean, over here? Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this one, of this one. Green's a little dark. I kind of like the separation there, but that's not because of the color. That's alright. Meh. These three look almost the same. It's hum, really dark orange. It can't be... That's hmm. red. You can make this the Christmas lights. I mean, that's... Yeah. There's not a single one on this side that I'm, you know, not happy. Not, like, thrilled that I would use. This side? Eh. You're joking. Oh, yeah, I know. 
But like these three almost look the same. And don't tell printmaker this was the finest ultramarine finest. But I like this better. Pretty rainbow. It is I mean it is a pretty rainbow. They both are. No. I love this one. This one's okay. I love this one. So I do need to figure out what the next step in my like course is. This is an actual course that I'm taking right now. Course. The Skillshare. Don't touch it. C Y M Color Wheel. I'm thinking this notebook might just end up being my color theory um, homework, I guess. Because, I mean, this is the project that I'm doing with my kids. These are just some random crystals. But I feel like if I can get the right sign seems like a glow up. You know what? You're right. It does. <laughs> But if I can have all of my color theory stuff in one place, it'll be nice to have like a a reference. Like, let's see here. Do I have? I might already have to change what's in my travel palette based on this. Hmm. Because... Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Hold on. We have some bleeding. We have some bleeding. You use Skillshare? Yes, I do. I love Skillshare. Um, there is a lady, I want to say her... Uh, Skillshare name is Yasmin Creates, maybe? I think that's about right. And she does a whole bunch of really cool stuff. But um, and right now I'm taking her color theory. Let's say beginner's color theory. I say taking it. And I by taking it I mean I've looked at the projects. And I wanted to do this first. Yeah. I just made a bigger mess. this for a minute <laughs> so that it stops wanting to bleed into other pages but I don't know where it would bleed into let's see here hmm uh where's the other part of the signature uh hmm oh the other part of the signature is here. So it's really like glued in. No big deal. Ba da! <sighs> yeah, Skillshare is where I learned, mm, learned how to use gouache. Um, learned about this color wheel. Um, I, I, totally worth it. In my mind. Totally worth it. I just want to see some variety here. Come on. It's funny that at the beginning you were like, I'm only doing this because it's what the class told me to do. I don't see the point, but I guess it can be good. And now you're like, my life has changed. It's all the truth. I need to rethink all my color choices. You know. Yeah. It happens. Just 
Just goes to show, don't be afraid to try something a little different. Because, yeah, now I need to <laughs> rethink my... Because like, my travel palette has... The red that it has, like it has cadmium red. This is cadmium red. It has ultramarine finest. That's ultramarine finest. Has Hansa yellow. That's the only one these two have in common. I learned that too. Oh, good. I'm glad. Um, my travel palette does not have Quin magenta. It has Quin red. Hmm. Uh, it doesn't. Ha I don't think it has Thalo Blue. Do do do. Mm, nope. So. Hmm. I also gotta think about what it is that I paint. Because if I. Okay, so here's a thought. Follow me on this. If I'm doing painting. a painting of like candy or um, fashion design or something where the colors need to be bold I'd want to use this one however if I wanted to do something a little more muted like maybe a landscape that wouldn't necessarily have these bright of colors I could use this color wheel hmm hmm Interesting. Because I could see myself using these greens in a forest much more than these greens. But a fantasy painting, this would be what I want and not this. Hmm. I guess then the question is, do you have... Do you do two different sets? Or do you figure out a way to put them both in the same one? Hmm. It's an interesting conundrum. I mean, I could just, uh... Because it really is three... It's a grand total of five paints. That's it. It's just five, because it's cadmium red, Hansa yellow medium, ultramarine finest, quin magenta, thalo blue, green shade. So that's it's only five. My travel palette, well, my larger travel palette, the one that I leave at my boyfriend's house, has 15 slots. So, maybe I need to reconsider. Oh, mm. I think my next step, I should do a color mixing chart with this one. Actually, I do one with both of them and see what I come up with. To see which one... You can have different sets. Some people do earthy tones only and leave the bright ones on the other palette. Yes, this is true. You're right. Now, let's see, one thing is though, that when I'm at Aviation Guy's house, I want to have... I don't want to have a ton of paints because, you know, I don't want to take up a lot of room. But, um, I also don't want to have don't want to be missing paint. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to sit there and be like, oh man, I really wish I brought my fill in the blank. Um, like, right now I'm going, where's my my fine liner pen? I have my pencil. I have my 0.1 micron, or my 0.1 micron. This is too small. This is a brush pen. I don't want that. I want, like, a... Wow, point four. Wow, I'm fussy. I am fussy, bitch. 
maybe a point eight. No, I don't want a brush. I want. Uh, let's try this one. Beep. This isn't actually a. This is a point. This is an eight. Let's try to see what the small is. I mean, it's called medium, but that's that's an eight. Uh, you're the brush. Small. Uh, it's a little small. Oh yeah, I'm being a fussy, fussy bitch. Let's see what else I got. Mm -hmm. Interesting, this one doesn't say what it is. He's a little guy. Okay, let me see these Copics. Uh, I have a three. And a one. Mm. Dikes! That's too small. Look at that. On the other hand... Whoa, wait a minute, what? Ooh, this is a 1.0. So this one's a... This is a thicken. That's a thick boy. Uh, can, I, can I just can I have a point four? Like, really? Come on. What's this? What's this? What's this? This is a point four. Yeah, that's what I want. Are you permanent? It's in there. I don't know. Fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, hold on a second. Uh, my sister sent me something. I'm almost afraid to look at it. Oh my god. Um, so, if you really want something horrifying on Amazon you can look up the Lickum Tongue Cat Brush you will be horrified just it's a cat brush that you put the base of it in your mouth so you can look like you're licking your cat. And it's a comb, like a, br a cat brush. I am truly horrified. Like, I. <laughs> Who comes up with this shit? And then, hold on. 359 people have rated it. Four stars out of five. Alright, this is... We, uh, gotta do it. Gotta do it. Gotta find it. Gotta find the, the reviews. Gotta read them. <laughs> is this safe for work? And not NSFW. NSFW means not safe for work, so I'm not sure what you're asking. All right, hold on, hold on. We're we're taking we're gonna we're gonna take a detour. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna get like all the unfollows and all the unsubscribe. So. Here's the product. Alright. You stick it in your mouth. And you use it to groom your cat. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> I look so unhappy, like, get rid of her. So now, for some, some real fun. Okay, so I can see that as being a white elephant gift. I get that. Um, oh, goodness. All right. So let's see all the questions that have been answered. Oops. Oh, I did. There went the phone. The phone was like, nope. Um, question. Can I use this on my wife? Answer. You can try once. Is this a real or a gag gift? Answer. Most definitely. Um, question. Does it come in retail packaging? Answer. It's just plain in a white box that had a sticker saying scratch at your own risk. I'm not reading that one because that's not appropriate for stream. Oh god. That one isn't appropriate for stream either. Uh, did, why are they asking those questions? Mm. I'm not. Answer, I'm not. I'm not even reading those. Those are not appropriate, even for me. Okay, it just looks like a weird sex toy. <laughs> this person reviewed it in January of 2019 and said, It's really hard plastic. The cat doesn't like it. Told me to use it on the dog. Yeah, just put that right up there with the crazy, crazy cat lady gifts. I can't. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, now that I've scarred myself. I'm going to finish writing this and then we're going to raid off into the sunset. Does anyone have someone they would like to raid? I'm not sure if anybody in the WWW is streaming right now. Maybe point. Yeah. I'm gonna see if Point of Fable is streaming. Because if he is, we're gonna go there. Alright, let's let me look. Simply Oinks. I don't think I know Simply Oinks. But hopefully, I'm going to look over at my other screen. Um. He's logging me out of Twitch. I don't know why. Blech. Make the stream made me feel better. Oh, good, Blue Moon. I'm glad. I hope you start feeling a ton better. Soon. Um. Alright, Point. Ooh, Point is doing book edge painting? I don't even know what that is. What is Point doing? Point, my friend. Alright, hold on. I gotta mute my music. Whoa. Well, there's the ad. You can sleep and I'll be fine? Okay. No, 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 no. You need to hush. Stupid ads. <laughs> Stupid ads. Alright. Uh huh. Okay, uh, yeah, I don't know what he's doing, but it looks really cool. It's a dark start. It would be good. Yeah, we're gonna go yeah, read point. I don't know what I'm talking about. So, um, 
thank you all for being here. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I'm hoping to be back on uh, Monday. As long as everything goes right. Oh, so Why? Give me one second. I'll be right back. Did I do this? Whoa. All the things are happening. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my goodness. All the love. Have a good night. Thank you. Hey, look. It's my Instagram. Maybe I'll post something. Oh, yeah. he's He ran away for a minute. Let's, let's raid him while he's not looking. Ha <laughs> ha. You know, because I I'm like that. Hmm. Thank you all for being here. I do appreciate you. Um, thank you all for the follows, and uh, yeah, have a wonderful evening. Okay, or day, whichever. Bye. Love you all. Bye. Do 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 do. Let's go raid. Do 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 do. Let's raid. Oh, wait. Maybe I can do this. Can I push this button? Does it work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Raid now. You think the watercolor would soak in? Um, it might. We're gonna find out. I tried to put on the ice pack, and it's not working. Holy smokes! Hi, hi, Blue Moon. Hi, Artsy. In the raid. Welcome. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still a little ill. Still a little ill. And the ice pack helps. What you guys doing? What you doing? Cause I'm old and it hurts. Bad cough, it just hurts my chest. Still feels good. <laughs>